Please introduce yourself and your involvement in the Industrial Internet of Things. My name is Tanja Rückert. I'm at SAP responsible for Internet of Things, Industry 4.0 and Custom Innovation. And I'm one of the steering members of Industrial Internet Consortium. Now, share with our viewers, when was it that you had your aha moment about the Internet of Things, when you really thought this could end up being something pretty big? I actually had several defining moments. I only shared two, otherwise it gets too long. One was we were at a SAP customer site and were in a factory and they really transformed it already in a smart factory. Okay. And if you see products going like self-optimizing from machine to machine and finding their way um, without interfering, that's a little scary, but you also realize machines get more intelligent in what is possible. And on the fun part, it's less industry internet. We also worked with a German soccer team ah. and looked at some of their um, results we got from shoes they are wearing or clothes they are wearing. And of course, uh, the cameras, um, which are around every stadium and did some analytics also about some of the other competition teams and helped them to predict how everybody would um, compete with each other. So, and, and they won, obviously, the world championship. So not too bad. So there are much more you read analyst report. I, I just believe that Internet of Things is a natural evolution of Internet and it will transform companies, industries, as well as our private life. Yeah, no, I agree. It's just an extension of the Internet into physical, into physical objects. Now, maybe you could share with us some best practices. You've been, you've been in the Internet of Things for a little while now. What have you seen? It's a high level, but what, what would you recommend to our viewers? What, what I recommend to viewers, but also to, to customers especially, um, they sometimes hear about Internet of Things and they know about all the data they have, the data lakes, and they don't know what to do with it. I believe we should start small because sometimes we start in defining the big, big vision and want to boil the ocean. It's important that you start where you have the highest value. It could be down in the shop floor, it could be in the maintenance because you have so many, uh, so high maintenance costs. Wherever you have the highest value and you have already the end to end vision that you want to extend it across the entire value chain in mind. So start small, think big end to end. Start small and think big end to end. I like that. I like that. Now, why did SAP join the IIC? There were several reasons. One very important in every customer conversation, the topic of interoperability comes up. You know, you talk about a new project and, and you see how many players are involved and the number of protocols exceeds the number of players you have. Um, and the other topic is security is high on, on the minds of our customers. And we wanted to be part of defining the future in those topics. Another a reason for us is, of course, that being involved in test beds, the, being in working with other partners, we can, of course, bring our IoT solution using the in-memory platform and our prepackaged applications to the next level because we get the feedback from, from the different members, we get the feedback of the test beds. And I think the last reason is we were already involved in the platform industry 4.0 in Germany, and we see there is a high synergy between IIC and platform industry 4.0. One coming more from the manufacturing part, one coming um, from the software stack. And I think the collaboration between those two bodies really helps um, going forward to define the requirements and best practices for standards. Now, how, how are you participating in the IAC? Besides my little work as steering committee member, yes. <laughs> SAP is also involved in many um, committees, task groups and working groups. So like we are co-chairing the architecture, we are also co-chairing the standards and interoperability, and we are involved in several of the test beds. So we are going across the entire portfolio of the IIC. Now, what is SAP hoping to get out of the IIC? Jointly with the other members of the IIC, I think we can bring together really the requirements for standards. We can help define best practices. We can um, get all the benefits talking to the other players along the technology stack. I personally believe that ecosystem, the biggest ecosystem, will be very important for all of the IoT, uh, Internet of Things vendors. and. Last but not least, I think the experimentation around the test beds is very beneficial. Yeah, de facto standards over, over actual standards. And I believe actually standards will be defined also via adoption. 
And there, where, where you have a, a big ecosystem, you, you work with many partners, you, you really, um, I think that will drive adoption. Excellent, thank you.